Hey everybody. All right, so this is uh, this is the cottage suite, the upstairs bathroom, the angled shower with the large format uh, plank tile that we did. And uh, I just added in some of the rough construction here. Um, so anyway, we'll start off here and I'll explain what's going on. So uh, we did, I did all the plumbing and uh, my customer's son-in-law did all the electric and we're putting in a new subfloor. And I had explained on the tour, but I'll explain again. You can see I've added in all of the runners here on the floor and all of those runners are there uh, because the floor, the bathroom from the window side closest to the camera here to the door was pitched about four inches. There was no feasible way without making major alterations to the framing to level that floor out. So the solution we, we came up with was to run the floor at a f pitch and we flattened it left to right. So the bathroom floor is completely out of level front to back, but I have created a flat surface doing it that way. And it worked out really well. So um, normally I would try to level it, but it, like I said, in this case, you'd have to cut down four inches down into the framing. And there's no way to, no way to do that safely without taking away from the structure. So. so this is after I framed the shower and I wish I had more detail. Um, I'm missing some footage I thought I had, but uh, this this house is incredibly, you know, a lot of sagging over the years. So the walls, um, the walls are actually out behind me there, uh, probably an inch on seven feet. So I have tapered shims there. I have flattened up. the original framing has all been flattened out. I chose to go over the lab because there is um, bone and insulation behind it. Um, so we went ahead and left that and just flattened everything out. But all of these walls have been flattened and brought to plumb uh, perfectly. I mean, within a 64th of an inch. I've got my drain height set there. If you want to get your felt paper down. And this is a unique, uh, this is a unique setup. So this is uh, this is going to be a mortar pan because it's angular, and there was there's really no good way to use a uh, foam pan in a situation like this, and it's also cost prohibitive. So this is uh, going to be a conventional mortar pan, but I'm going to use curdy, and you'll see I'll explain if we get further into the video. So cutting our wire mesh. We're going to staple that down, we're going to cut around the drain pipe for the dirty drain. So we're adding our blocking in here. This is just to prevent our mortar from uh, going in the stud bays as we try to tamp down our, our uh, slope. So the footage is a little bit janky, but we did, uh, you can see the plumbing sticking out there, so I was doing a lot as I went along. Uh, I'm not just a tile guy, so I build the shower, I do all the prep work, and I also do the plumbing, uh, any plumbing is needed, um, which I chose to do as I went on this one, so. So anyway, we're putting the curdy drain in, and you can see, making absolutely sure that that is perfectly level, that is really important. All right, and here we are started on the mortar. So I always mix up my mortar uh, myself. I like a sand Portland cement mix. Uh, you do uh, three or four to one, either way it works. I think I did a three to one on this shower, um, but that I was taught that way. That's how I've always done it. So uh, three parts, three parts sand to one part mortar, uh, Portland cement. Mix it up really well while it's dry, and then. Uh, tamp it in there. So I like to go around the perimeter, which the laser work you saw me do prior, that was me establishing my my level line around the perimeter and that gets pitched to the drain. We want a quarter inch per foot on our slope. So the way I do that is I pick the furthest distance in a case of a of a angular shower like this. I pick the longest distance, which is going to be one of the corners, and I I take that, I figure out my 0.25 inches per foot, I do the math, 
uh, and then I, I'll, let, I'll laser my, a level line from the drain to the wall, or level a line, and then I will raise that for the required pitch from that point. And that is how I get that drain exactly where I want it. So, so we're putting down the fleece now. So this is Curdy membrane. We're installing this on the slope. Um, I have pretty much stopped using um, PVC liners, uh, and I, I just don't see a reason anymore at this point. The Curdy is pretty cost effective, and it, just a whole lot less work. So. So you get that, get that in there, tamp it all down. Um, and because of how I did this, I did not cut the corners. I simply folded them over, and you'll see why in a minute. So um, this would not be a warranted project, not by Curdy. Um, they, I mean, they might, they might warranty the pan, but uh, this was a weedy shower. So um, I di didn't, again, I, like I said, I did not want to use a foam pan. And weedy has, uh, as far as I can, as far as I've been able to see, they, the only way to use the weedy board in the, in the mud pan is just to stick it down into your, uh, uh, your PVC liner. So, what I chose to do is the curdy liner, and as you can, I'm showing right here, I made sure to seal that weedy down right down to the curdy. So I put a nice thick layer of that, of that weedy adhesive down and I smushed my board into it and then I will trowel that out and there's no way water is ever going to get past that so I have I have a complete water block from the weedy down to the curdy and down to the drain there's never there will never be any water soaked into any any membrane of any sort on the shower and uh, and the reason I could have done uh, curdy like the downstairs shower, which will be one of the next videos. I could have done curdy on that shower, uh, on this shower, but uh, it's just, a, it's a lot of work and I, I definitely prefer the weedy. It is, it is just super time efficient. Uh, you can have an entire shower boarded up in a day. And uh, the other option would have been uh, curdy board, but I can't get curdy board locally, at least this is before I moved, but there I could not get curdy board locally. Nobody carried it. Nobody could get it in. Uh, I actually was told I needed to order, I think, like 10 sheets to make it worth their while. So it just wasn't an option. And, uh, and I really wanted to use the weedy board here. So this was what I came up with. Um, somebody might not like it, but I, I see no reason why it would ever be an issue. So this is the wide plank tile. This is a six inch by 24 inch uh, large format tile. Uh, wood, you know, wood grain look tile. My customer picked it out. And we did a border around the door opening and the rest of it is laid on thirds and that's to minimize lippage to almost nothing. And you can see I'm using the self leveling system and that pretty much eliminates any lippage and uh, you'd have to see the shower in person to really appreciate it, but it is as flat as a piece of glass. There's absolutely no lippage on any of the tile. I was very happy with the uh, results. And you can see here, I wrapped the curdy membrane, the curdy fleece, uh, right around the corners, all the way to the outside corners. So there is no, again, no chance water can ever wick into any of the drywall surfaces, even on the outside of the shower. Um, steam, etc., can kind of migrate through if I had left it. So I, I wanted to make sure it was protected. So this is the shower time lapse, and there's not much to say here. I just wanted to show the whole process. It this took about three days or so, I think. Uh, yeah, three or so days to lay up this tile. So, and right there, you can see that's the last point I wanted to make. I did use the Curdy, um, the drain flashing guard there, and I just uh, I used weedy sealant and I sealed it right to the weedy board. So, if you made it uh, this far along in the video, I just want to thank you for watching. And uh, if you found this helpful, or if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. And uh, would appreciate. Um, passing it along if you can and um, definitely subscribe there will be more coming I'm finally kind of getting a 
a footing out here now that I've moved and uh, I've, I've been diligently working so there's lots of footage coming um, on the projects that we're working on. Also, uh, if you're interested in seeing any more of this, if you haven't seen the tour videos, I have uh, several tour videos on my channel and you could check those out. So this is actually my, my uh, nine-year-old daughter helping me clean up the shower. And this is from the tour video that I did. Uh, I just clipped this out of it and took the sound out of it. So um, I wanted to show the finished shower. I did some really cool crown work around it. It really, uh, it really is a beautiful shower. Oh, and uh, one last point too, in the corners, um, you'll notice in those corners, I did not grout those corners. Um, this is done properly. This is, there is a foam, there is a foam doweling, dowel rod in there, and the corners are then sealed with a sanded caulk to match the grout. And that allows for any expansion and contraction of the tile and you will never have cracked grout joints in the corner.